want to talk about um, an important feature of the rehab station, which is the elastic cords that come with each station. Um, you'll see that the elastic cords have two clips or carabiners on each end, um, and these are stamped with a approximate value of the resistance they provide. So this, the green is a five pound resistance level. Um, if, you were to double, if you were to double this up for, this, for the system, that would be approximately 10 pounds. Um, or if you were to combine it with any of the other resistance or elastic tubing, you would just add those together to give you an approximate amount of resistance. Um, another important feature about these particular resistance tubes is they do have a limiter inside Side that is a, um, a piece of fiber rope that prevents overstretching and also if it, if it were to break it would not come back and strike the patient. So it's important to utilize these elastic cords with the rehab station. I want to just cover a couple simple tips and tricks about how to use these in your everyday um, use with a patient. Um, so you can attach these to any number of areas on the rehab station. On the side here you'll see numbered pegs from one through six from top to bottom. Um, that's an easy and convenient way to clip those onto the pegs um, and then we also have an area down lower on the uh, front or on the, on the front arms here that has a area to clip as well um, and then also you can clip up to any of the overhead supports um, additionally. So let's go back to the clips on the side here. If you want to clip here, let's say we'll clip into one. Let's say we're doing an activity that required um, uh, you, where you want the uh, resistance cord to come out more of the middle of the body, um, the person sitting here. I could then take this cord and wrap it underneath, say, peg number four, and then have the handle that is attached for the patient to utilize um, in, in this position here so I can adjust the angle of wherever I want this to come and be located by simply going underneath or over the top of any of the different pegs. So if I want to come and have this coming from a downward position, I would come down to maybe like a peg five or a peg four, and then I can come back over the top of peg one and get this particular angle. Another way that you can you know, fine tune the amount of resistance and adjustments is by simply pulling on the tubing and then looping it around the peg one time. And then if I want to add a little extra, feed a little extra length into it, I can do that. And then I can fine tune the adjustment of the distance and length in that way. Another uh, simple way to do this is to simply just wrap the cord around the unit like so, if you need to for adjusting length or position. Uh, so that's another method you may use. If you would like to hook it to one of the upper pieces here, uh, you could just simply hook it like so, but then you've got a fairly long cord here. If you want to adjust that and maybe uh, half the distance of that is use what we call a girth hitch. So you'll take the tubing and just kind of fold it in half take the one end, slip it through any one of the overhead hooks, create a little bit of an opening there and bring it back through here and now we have the change in length. Now of course we've doubled the resistance at this point when you've done that with that particular type of a hitch. We also want to point out, the other thing I want to show is that we do have on the side here hanging is a bar that can be used for doing any type of bilateral activities, pushing, pulling, curls, and so forth. In that case, you would have an attachment of your carabiner to each end of this particular unit when doing those activities.